Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Order of Battle World War Two. We're here with the Red Steel DLC. I think we've gotten this one, but uh, campaign event capitulation. Stavka's delighted to inform you that the last remnants of the Sixth Army surrendered after better fighting in Operation Coltso. Our final offensive to clear the stalling rat pocket. This is a major victory. Indeed it is, and now we'll be heading towards Malaya Zemlya. Semes Bay, February 1943. A tiny beachhead south of Novorossiysk, soon to be called Malaya Zemlya, minor land, becomes a fiercely contested battleground as German troops attempt to eliminate the landing force while the Red Army seeks to pour in reinforcements. I do think that in total there are, are two more missions, like this one and I believe after this there will be a Kharkov 43 most likely, but we'll see. Let's start this here briefing. Welcome, Commander. German troops took the city of Novorossiysk during their advance in the Caucasus in September 1942. Stavka demands to retake the city, but our first attempt has run into trouble. We planned for a naval landing near Cape Mishako, supported by airdrops in a parallel ground offensive. But due to poor coordination, naval fire support failed to suppress the enemy at defenses, so the first wave of her landing force came under fire as soon after they made landfall. In result, our paratroopers west of Novorossiysk ended up isolated as our landed troops are unable to link up with them. That's, uh, I guess, these. A second, much smaller beachhead has been established by a single unit of naval infantry at Stanishka. This was a this was planned as a diversion, but since our first landing force is close to defeat, already we redirected the remaining troops to this smaller landing zone. We may be unable to take Novorossiysk now, but at least we want to hold our second beachhead and even enlarge it further. Expect the enemy to intensify his attacks to throw us back into the sea. The Black Sea Fleet also warns of enemy airstrikes to set up effective fighter cover, but do not ignore the need for bomber support. The Germans still hold positions north of Novorossiysk from where they launch counterattacks sometimes. Carefully conduct ground attacks there to seize key locations, I guess such as this. North of Novorossiysk. Due to heavy terrain and supply constraints, constraints, it is advised to rely on infantry with air and artillery support mostly. Destroy four aircraft, provide effective fire cover to all ground and naval operations. An additional fighter unit will join your core in the last scenario if this goal is achieved, this secondary objective. Ensure the landing force's survival. If our landing force at Malaya Zemlya survives, a free unit of naval infantry will be attached to your core force for later operations. We have to hold two primary objectives. Uh, okay, so it's going to be defensive then. Take all secondary objectives. Ah, there we have it. So this. Neberdsayevskaya. And a hill. And some, uh, some other places. So we kind of just have to expand the beachhead and, and kind of leave it at that, it seems like. Reinforce Malaya Zemlya. Land three infantry type core units support the Stanishka landing. They need to arrive within the marked perimeter in three turns, plus 10 supply to the landing zone. Special event Malaya Zemlya. Reinforce the Stanishka landing before any beyond any requirement to achieve your objectives and repel further German attacks. Utilize naval or aerial support at will to get in more troops, provided the supply situation permits it. So I can place a few units there, no units here or there. I can put some units in those places. Doesn't even talk about tanks, but I can only deploy a very small amount of units. Um, let's repair these first. And uh, let's let's go to the planes here. Pretty expensive, but as usual, I do like to give elites to my air force. And we can afford it anyway. Um, seven, 
for... I mean, as much as I would like to deploy bombers, yeah... I need to down four planes. I, I don't want to be rude, but I don't have room at that point for bombers. Maybe if I had more air capabilities. I'm going to deploy all of them in here because strength in numbers and yeah, they might bomb me there, but then I will have to switch up my fighters accordingly at a later stage. No reason to do anything else there. I definitely want to get some of my elite heavy infantry in there. Actually, I'll get two of those. Currently, the supply is at five, but I need to land three infantry type units, I believe. Three infantry type core units. Uh, so let's get those. And generally, I do like to place as much infantry. as possible together with a mass of artillery here um Let's actually place the OT. So we have a bunch of infantry, mass artillery, and then the OT tank. The artillery, as usual, is the most important, I think. AI going first. Not what I expected. Well, I guess these guys will be dead. That's not too bad. It's funny that they placed foxholes right in front of the units, or the deploying units at least. So after that first enemy turn, it was not as bad as I predicted there. Special friend isolated. Since our first landing force is close to be defeated, our paratroopers are in a difficult situation. It is advised to move them southeast to unite with our new beach hat at Tanishka. All right. Let's um, see what what happens if I land these troops I think they have to be right next to it in in order to do that but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I, I need to be at a certain distance. Which is the best. It's 15, minus 5. So some of the units have to die. Pretty much. And...
I'd be surprised to see these alive. I, I actually rather stay in position because at least they have some fortification and they might actually lure some of the enemy. I get 40 a turn. Well, let's try to indeed... Oh, I should have moved into the forest. I'll try to get into this direction. They'll probably just take that. So... Let's finish that off. Wow. I'll move these guys here. Yeah. I'm afraid that they'll attack me through this hex. Which they're a bit less likely to do now, but at least now I know that they have those Kabirk Shaker there. I don't really feel like moving those guys at this point is a good idea. You were supposed to die. harsh. Probably attacking that, yeah. It's the easier target, mm. but perhaps I can go down there. I should have tried to repair these. I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I, I could have. But it's certainly worth attacking that, I think. No, no thanks. I'll even repair these. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, so that is done, and it's now at 15. And <clears throat> since they are linked up right now, they should be in decent supply. So that will help, I guess. Mm. It's a very short mission, by the way. Only 14 turns. They don't really have much going for them in general. Interestingly...
I'm just trying to take things real slow here. There's definitely no need for me to rush even with these guys. I, I'm very weak so if they were to launch a serious counteroffensive. I just have to be extremely careful. Well, as it is, I don't necessarily expect those guys to survive, but... Hmm. That's pretty harsh. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, now all of them are cut off. And badly, too. So, yeah. Actually, I think it's a bit weird they're suffering that badly, but... Would not have expected that. All right, enemy fighter inbound. And another fighter. Seems like my recon is going down fast. Um, there are two things I can do. I can pr basically go after this, which is probably the... Easiest. And then the other thing that I'll do here is I'll move these. You here. then attack like that and the reason why I'm doing that is so that these guys will get weakened significantly or yeah while I'm maintaining decent position Definitely using all those boats there. They need to recover. They're not in that bad of a shape. I think that with these guys destroyed it might be better to try and move for a breakout and link up with both of these because these are toast anyway at this stage the dealing with the artillery is nice I don't need to take any of the other further positions so that is fine Uh, 
really would have liked dealing with it, but doing this is fine too. The amount of artillery that I have is in, it's quite overwhelming. Probably attack here. Yeah. If you're playing on lower difficulty, I would expect these guys to hold out for much, much longer. Maybe you can even hold it indefinitely. It's not unlikely you will be able to do it at that point. Alright, here we go. Enemy now seems to be capped at three stars of experience, whereas before I was four. So I, I do think that's something that's worthy of note. I kind of wish I had taken some bombers now. Oh. Nothing can be done now, I suppose. They're going away two hexes. Oh, uh, well. I'm getting out of here. I actually... No, I, I could not have linked up. It's looking a bit better. Yeah, they're getting this infantry in here, but... Interestingly, I can kill it. If I keep this unit here, either one of those units will have to move in and then they lost all their movement. So I think that would be a pretty decent. Yeah, we'll be okay. With so much artillery, you just can't go wrong. Is 
Just a bunch of repairs. Nothing too serious from the AI. Seems like they're definitely chasing these. It will take a while before they'll get back for um, offensives and stuff, but at least I was able to save these. So they will become useful. I don't really need to take anything on that side anyway. Yeah, attack me there. It's gonna hurt. These probably will retreat. No, they don't. Hmm. It's very strange. Oof. Definitely not happy to see a second artillery there. Anyway, I will end the video here. This is going to be a short one, so I'll probably be able to wrap things up in the next one. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.